to the ScanCAD International presentation on process control tools for the PCB industry. This short video will discuss some revolutionary new products for process control and process setup. A combination of PowerPoint slides and actual ScanCAD software will be utilized during this presentation. We think most of you will agree that process control means no surprises. Typically, in a manufacturing facility, a surprise is a bad thing, so the more surprises can be avoided, the better. The first part of this video will briefly discuss ScanCAD International, the company, and today's challenging PCB assembly environment. Most of you are very familiar with the PCB assembly environment, but this discussion will help to set the stage for a discussion of some new tools from ScanCAD designed to assist manufacturing facilities in setting up new processes and keeping existing processes running smoothly. In other words, minimizing costly rework and production line downtime. The second part of the video will describe the actual ScanCAD International pre-production and production process control tools. ScanCAD International has been providing solutions to the electronics industry since it was founded in 1990. ScanCAD products have actually been around since 1987 when they were being offered by an Italian company that was later purchased by ScanCAD. Currently, ScanCAD has an install base of over 900 companies in 42 countries. Systems are sold both directly by ScanCAD and under a variety of private labels by several OEM partners. ScanCAD systems are all PC-based, low-cost, easy-to-use systems. These systems are also multi-purpose with many applications that can be run on a single system by simply adding additional software modules. ScanCAD systems are designed to simplify the complex technology that is present in the PCB assembly environment. Most of you already know this, but the PCB assembly environment is very challenging. Designs are done by someone other than the manufacturer. Raw materials such as PCBs, fixtures, stencils, solder, components, etc. come from a variety of sources. There is a wide variety of equipment from many manufacturers that are used in the processes. Many processes are needed, including liquids, paste, glue, manual, automatic, etc. The people on the floor have a variety of skill levels and experience, and constant turnover can be an issue. Everything is getting smaller and smaller in size, and production runs are shorter with more changeovers. Everything has to be done in a clean, safe environment with no downtime and done with zero defects. In a word, you all are magicians. Some of the tools you are using today are CMMs, calipers, microscopes, etc. These tools are very useful, but they do not provide you with a complete solution to all the problems that can be encountered when setting up new processes, changing over the line, or even running an existing process. So, now you add to the equation tools that have not changed in over 30 years with the fact that you have to be magicians. Now, ScanCAD International is offering a revolutionary new product for pre-production process control. This product will assist you in improving the efficiency of new product introduction and product changeovers, maximizing the uptime of your line. Production can be simulated using actual parts, but it is done offline overlaying all variables in a virtual environment. Just to be clear, this makes sure all the variables, such as stencil, bare board, pasted board, placement data, etc., come together properly, and if not, perform any tweaking necessary before the parts get anywhere near the assembly line. How many of you have had lines sitting idle in the past because of an issue with a stencil, a PCB, component, etc., or maybe a new supplier, or simply a bad lot. Now you can make sure these problems are found offline, avoiding the costly downtime of a line, expensive rework, or a warranty return. Now you may ask, how is this done? A revolutionary new tool from ScanCAD International. Scan Inspect VPI, Virtual Product Inspection. The VPI system is a table-based system with a high-resolution scanning system located on a shelf below the table surface, so the scanner surface is flush with the tabletop. This allows for scanning very large objects, 
such as stencils and frames. The system is very versatile with top or bottom lighting, color or black and white imaging. It is an accurate system utilizing a NIST certified glass calibration plate. The resolution of the system is sufficient to inspect very small features. The system is in use today in production facilities inspecting apertures as small as 50 microns or 2 mils. Presence present absence inspection of prototype parts with feature sizes down to 10 microns has also been done successfully. The programming of the systems can be done either by CAD, Gerber, or Golden Part. Now, with a single system, you can check virtually any stage of production. Check designs for manufacturability, including holes, slots, etc. Components can be checked to make sure there are no issues once production starts. No more problems due to differences in parts from multiple vendors. PCBs can be inspected versus Gerber data or even versus the stencil. Make sure the stencil and PCB match. Inspect stencils either incoming or after cleaning to check for blocked apertures, damage, or stretch. Inspect pasted boards or perform first article inspection of populated PCBs. The software has many layers, so you can overlay all steps of a process on top of each other to ensure all variables come together properly. In addition, the system can create data when none exists or tweak data if it does not quite match. Create assembly data, including centroid data for parts. Create component vision files, no more calipers. Or even create or modify Gerber data for stencils so that the stencil matches the PCB. PCBs often do not match the, the design due to stretch or shrinkage. Studies have shown that modifying the stencil to match the actual PCB can significantly reduce solder defects in production. One published study actually showed a 50% reduction in solder defects. These are some actual images from the VPI system. Please keep in mind the images may not appear as sharp on this video as they would on an actual system since the resolution of the images on this video are not representative of the actual resolution of the system. Here are examples of bare PCBs, flex circuits, paste or adhesive, stencils, components, and loaded PCBs. These are just a few of the many types of inspection that can be done with the VPI system. The VPI system can complement your existing measurement system, such as high-end metrology equipment. Measure a few representative features with a highly accurate metrology system, and then inspect 100% of the features with the VPI system. It is possible to achieve an ROI of the VPI system with one production run. The systems are low cost enough that saving a single production error can pay for the complete system. Please remember that virtual problems are much cheaper than real problems. Now, let's see the actual system in operation. Okay. Right now we are actually in the VPI software, ScanSpec VPI. And we're looking at an entire board. I will zoom in into an area of the board that obviously has a problem. If we take a look at this area, we can see that there is insufficient paste. Uh, inside the VPI system, we have the ability to look at several layers at the same time. We're looking at a color layer right now. We can also look at, as was mentioned earlier, we can look at the Gerber data or possibly the stencil data and superimpose this over the color image of the board. Likewise, we are able to extract the paste information so that we can perform an inspection. In this case, we'll do a small inspection of an area of paste, and we'll simply look at the area of paste coverage. In this case, we set an upper and lower threshold of 50% to 125%. You'll notice now that in this window, we have 10 errors, and the X, of course, representing each of these errors you'll see that the areas that had more than 50% paste coverage were okay. Again, this is an example not only of inspecting wet solder paste as a first article print, but also could be used for sampling, as well as this could be used to do bare board inspection, simply placing Gerber data over the board and performing the inspection as an inbound bare board inspection. 
Let's move on now and look at a sample of a stencil inspection. I'll bring up a typical stencil. Again, we see the green Gerber data on the stencil. We can scan the stencil, and the image for a scan stencil is a blue image. That is because we scan stencils in a black and white environment instead of a color environment. And if we zoom out now, uh, we can go ahead and put the Gerber data on top of the scan stencil image and ask the Scan Inspect VPI system to go ahead and perform an inspection on this stencil. So it processes this image and indicates there are 66 errors. If I zoom in close, we can see these errors numbered 1 to 66. If you look at the lower edge of the screen, 1 to 66. So in this example, the first error, we have green Gerber data but no stencil. If I turn off the Gerber data, you can see that there is no aperture in the stencil at this area. So these, these two apertures you see here are either blocked or missing. If it's a brand new stencil, it could be possibly missing. If it's a used stencil, possibly blocked. If we go to error number three, we notice that we have a similar situation inside of BGA. Again, this can be done at whatever zoom level you'd like to operate. Here we have an example, error number four, of a aperture on the stencil that is larger than the Gerber data. So again, I can turn the Gerber data on and off. I can turn the stencil on and off to help display this error. Moving ahead, we see a series of errors for this device where there is an actual shift a shift of the, the, uh, the apertures in the stencil relative to uh, the Gerber data. So this is a situation where we have a, a poor stencil or in a case of a stretch stencil if we saw the entire if all of these apertures were shifted we would be su uh, suspecting a stretched aperture situation of, a, of an older stencil. So what we just seen here is the ability for ScanSpec VPI to look at stencil images and perform an inspection. Now let's take a look at a loaded board. This is an example of using the same system now that looked at wet solder paste, inbound bare boards. We can also look at first article loaded boards. We can look at scan images of components right on the board. And so the system does have focus capability that does permit this type of, of a overlay and inspection. What we're doing here is I've actually overlaid CAD data and here we see representative CAD data. I could snap, for example, to this device right here. And at the bottom of the screen, you would see that this is R13. It's at a zero rotation. It's a 1206. It actually has a part number, and this was placed on a Siemens machine. Okay. Now, the value of the VPI system is the ability to actually have a color image over the top of this. And you could work at whatever zoom level you want. We are able to single step through the various placements verifying that the component is the correct component, correct orientation, etc., etc. So a very handy system. Now you can see here in the case of this capacitor, if this was not present, we could look down and notice that this was placed on a Panasonic machine. Now the data on the screen can be displayed, as you see, in the color information or with the graphic information you see that's the CAD data. In addition, we can display this in text format. So you can see all of the data here in column text format. Okay, what we've been looking at here is using the ScanSpec VPI system in a loaded board first article inspection or sampling inspection type mode. Same system that inspects stencils, same system that looks at solder paste, same system that does inbound bare board inspection. We've got one more image we'd like to share with you, and that is of a, of a component come down and find this component here. We'll look at a micro BGA. Now many of you may have had the challenge of trying to program a device like this using calipers or other methods. We'll just share with you that using the VPI system we are able again to zoom in as close as you'd like on a device. This is actually a scan of the micro BGA and I will indicate these trace widths here are right at 40 micron or just under 2 mils. So you can see the quality of the image coming from the VPI system. In this case, uh, we'll go ahead and, and quickly perform a component programming for this BGA. And what we're actually doing is extracting the centroid and diameter of all the balls on this BGA and the body size information to complete the component vision file. 
So I'll go ahead and output that so we can see this together on the screen. And you can see right here that this was programmed for a Siemens machine. We have a date and time stamp, the body information, and towards the bottom, we actually have the ball number, the XY offset from the center, and the diameter of each ball. Again, all of this done on the same scan and spec VPI system. We'll now step back into the presentation. Continuing on. One second, please. Okay. ScanCAD International also offers low-cost production process control equipment. The most common form of inspection today in production involves the use of manual inspection by operators. Many of the same tools in use today for pre-production, such as microscopes, calipers, etc., are also used in production. It is typically not possible to perform 100% inspection using these techniques, and you are dependent on the judgment of operators, which is typically not repeatable. Another option is an expensive single-function AOI system. There are many good systems out there, but it is not always possible to place these systems in every line due to the high cost involved. Another option is to not inspect at all and just to test at the end of the line. This can result in expensive rework and typically does not catch all the problems. ANCAD offers a family of low-cost inspection solutions for production. These are multi-purpose systems and PC-based. Systems are available in both offline desktop configurations with manual load or unload, or fully automated, conveyorized inline versions. These systems provide direct feedback of inspection results. Find defects and either stop the line to find the root cause before further defects are made, or keep the line running and shuttle defects to a reject station for rework. A log file that can be utilized by standard SPC packages is also created automatically. Scan Inspect SPI. Solder paste inspection can be done to check for the total area of solder paste deposits, amount of paste on pads, and bridging. The system utilizes golden board programming for fast and easy setup. Find paste problems after printing instead of at the end of the line. Improve your yields and minimize rework. Scan inspect ADI. Dispense or print inspection can be done to check for undersized deposits. The system utilizes golden board programming for fast and easy setup. Find adhesive problems after printing or dispensing instead of at the end of the line. Once again, improve yields and minimize rework. This system is even lower cost than the SPI system. Scan Inspect WBI. Perform 100% inspection of presence absence of wire bonds. These images of a 0.7 mil or 18 micron diameter wire show the powerful capability of the system to inspect, extreme, inspect extremely small features. So, in summary, ANCAT process control tools can be used to virtual problems before the production floor, catch problems real time before failure, eliminate rework, which is helpful to the environment. Maximize your existing capital investment by keeping your lines running with full production versus using them to set up processes or troubleshoot problems. This obviously reduces the stress within your organization. No more surprises. Please contact ScanCAD directly to, or talk to your local sales representative for more information on ScanCAD products. Several other products not mentioned in this video are also available from ScanCAD. Some of these products are legacy re-engineering of PCBs, airboard flying probe testers, inspection systems for other products outside of the electronics industry, such as fuel cells, photovoltaics, photochemical machining, and others. Software tools for minimizing EMI during the design phase of PCBs. Please see our website for more detail. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for your time and attention.